opinions on liking the opposite sex's Instagram pictures and following the opposite sex? Okay, for me, I feel like, for example, if you were to post something and he likes it, I would be okay with it only because he knows you, you mm -hmm. know? But, like, if he he's, like, going around, like, liking Instagram models, like, with a bikini and stuff, like, I wouldn't be okay. Mm -hmm. Not that, like, it's like, I wouldn't be okay, but at the same time, like, I'll understand because you're never going to see them again. You're never going to talk to them. You're never going to do anything that you do to me, like, so it's, I say it's 50-50, it depends. You care, but you I don't care. I care, but I don't. Like, I don't care when, like, a person, like, one of his close friends or my close friends are posting a picture, like, and he likes it, I don't care. Because mm -hmm. I know the person personally, like, their personality, their style, whatever. Caroline has a completely <laughs> different opinion than that. I know. Like, I, how I keep mentioning to you guys that I'm just, like, I don't know where I got it from, but it's just, like, I have, like, a certain level of loyalty, like, I had, I've never followed you back, and it's n nothing personal. <laughs> I don't think you even knew. <laughs> but it's just like, I, I've even told Josh, I'm just like, I have no business following you just, like, your friends, any guy friends or anything like that. Like, if they follow me, that's cool. But unless Joshua sits here and says, follow him back, then okay, I'm going to do it, you yeah. know? But it's just like, even my girlfriends, like, when they follow him, it makes me feel some type of way. I'm just like, that's my boyfriend, that's not your friend. You know, or if they're liking his pictures, I'm just like, yeah, I understand that part. And I've had situations where I've had friends like DM him or comment on his stories. And I'm just like, okay, that's too friendly for me. You know, it's just like, yeah, we're all friends. Like, I don't care if you guys talk here and like we're all hanging out. But it's just like, when it comes to just private stuff like that, I'm just like, I don't like when people get too comfortable. You know, and that's a whole different conversation. But <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to bring it up, so I was just like. Yeah, but I hear you. I feel like it's okay if you, like, just follow the person. But if you're going to that extent where you're, like, you're liking someone's picture or, like, commenting under their post or even DMing someone, like, mm -hmm. that, like that, like, that's too far for me. Again, I think guys' mindsets are so different. Yeah, because I don't and, care. Yeah, I, I, I really have this, don't care. We, we have this I don't care attitude. Like, No, it's not even, it's like... What's gonna happen? Like the DMing part is probably the biggest thing. Yeah. You know, like, you know, the following, yeah. like whatever. But you know what it is though? I think it's like if you have that level of respect and loyalty with your boys, you know, and then you know your girl as well, you're not gonna expect anything crazy to happen out of that. You know, like if she's if she if she's you know talking to my boy or he's talking to her about whatever. It could be about freaking me. It could be about freaking how's the weather today. Like. I'm not going to see it in any type of way because I have this, like, attitude. Exactly. Like, I don't care. Like, yo, like, yeah. that's my boy. You're my girl. So why do I have to trip? But the girls, they think about it, like, in a way, it's like, no, like, that's disrespect. That's crossing boundaries. That's, I I'm think like, it's like, because girls know how yeah. other girls are. Exactly. And I feel like to find a, a girlfriend that's, like, really trustworthy, who, who you know has your back, is just, like, so rare. And guys, it's just like, they're always like bros over hoes. Like, they always got their <laughs> their boys in back. Like, there's never any beef or, like, shadiness. Like, if they have an issue, no, they... No, there, there is definitely is with some guys. Really? Yeah, because I, I know guy friends that don't care. They really don't care. Mm -hmm. Like, they'll just go out of their way to either like, comment, or DM. But those then are those, probably those guys that you're not like. Tired. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm about to say. Then that's not your boys. Then yeah. if they're doing all that kind of stuff. But like girls, my like, boy, yeah. girls can really act like they're straight up your girlfriend. Like I love you, I love you, blah blah blah. And then they're doing something completely different behind your back. You're just, you're just like, excuse me. For me, it's like if a girl would have texted him, like the only thing I would ask is just communication. Yeah. Like at least tell me, not just like leave it there with and to me to find out later on my own. Like for Don't me, me. I. Because he had, like, his, like, best friends in a way, like, back then, whatever, that they would just text him just to, like, check up on him, which is okay because, like, I mean, at the, at the end of the day, they were best friends before like, he met me. Mm -hmm. But it's also, like, that the communication needs to be there. Like, if you're not telling your girlfriend that, like, hey, this person texted me, just wanted to let you know, okay, that'll be fine. Just, like, it's just a communication at the end of the day. Yeah. And the respect. And the it's respect, just, like, yeah. we're in a relationship now. I get you guys were best friends back when I didn't even exist. But now I do. Yeah. And now I'm the main girl. You're not no main girl. You're just like some random cualquiera that you can get rid of any kind of day. So it's just like, as long as you like keep the respect for me and him, then that's fine. But if they're doing things that you, they know they shouldn't be doing and low-key about it, it's just like, 
we're going to have an issue then. Yeah, I learned that the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> and with the liking Instagram pictures, I'm sorry, but it's just like you don't need to be liking no girl's pictures other than mine. That's how I feel. And following girls don't either. Don't say, say to the camera. I'm saying to the camera. I'm just looking around. I, I learned. I learned. I, um, you okay. scroll through my TikTok and it's just... <laughs> sports animals and following a bunch of girls it's just like why do you want to be seeing all these females every single day and like let alone a bunch of pictures of bikinis and half naked photos these models it's just like why do you need to feed your eye you know it's, it, it's opening i feel like personally it opens doors to like oh like she's pretty she's hot like oh like i would kind of like to date a girl like that you look at your girlfriend you're like Hmm, she doesn't have the big boobs like this girl does, or like she doesn't have the the nice long hair that she does. You know, I was I, mean? I was just thinking about that honestly. Like literally, I was just thinking about that because it gives you like false. It gives you false looks. You know, what's the word for it? Not catfish. Not a, it gives you false impressions about like other other people and just looking at other girls in general as well. Like if you're out here just following. Girls that don't even look like your own girl. It's just like yeah, it, like it starts. Yeah, it like it questions everything completely. Like to the one to your girl and then to yourself too. Because it's just like you're like, what are you doing? You know, you're out here checking out blonde girls like, or Asian yeah. girls or something like that. And then you're just like, that don't make no sense you're to me. You're feeding the attention to that person by liking it, commenting or whatever. It's just like for what? You know. Especially if you're in a relationship, it's just like, why do you need to put that like? Like, if anything, look and keep scrolling. But even exactly. then, it's just like, why even have the opportunity to look, you know? It's my turn. Yeah. Um, He's like, mm. like, I, like I said before, I don't really care. It's just, to me, it's like, that's not really like important important in a relationship it's not like I get it there are other people in this world that are attractive if you if you like what you see whatever as long as you don't cross certain boundaries like I would say DMing somebody you see on on like Instagram is that's crossing a boundary but like if you if you're just looking at their picture whatever it's like it's like going to the beach and you look at a guy like yeah. like it's as long as you don't go talk to him then whatever I don't care you live your life enjoy yourself as long as you don't cross certain boundaries like of, but that's everybody has their own preferences on what they like in their relationship. I personally, I'm not a very jealous person. So it's like if you look at a guy, you look at a guy. I'm not gonna stop you from using your eyes. Um, it is what it is. Like, just, I'm not gonna restrict. You know, like just have fun. Just don't don't cross the line. You know, I I kind of respect that in a sense because. I have I have a like a, I don't care attitude for a lot of things, you know. I tr I've started to, you know, start caring more about things that maybe my partner might care about too. But when it comes to stuff like that too, I try to like make her comfortable in the sense of if I see a guy walk and I'm like, "Yo, like he's got a he's got a nice body or like he's got a nice chest, like no homo." But can I say can I say that? <laughs> <laughs> can I say that? <laughs> All right, anyway, um, like if he's got like a nice body and everything, I'll be like, yo, like check out dude over there, like he got an eight pack or something like dramatic. I'll do the like, same thing. Like, but, but then she'd be like, no, that's weird and everything. I'm just like, I kind of wish we could like, like. Is this a test right now? I'm not. No, <laughs> like I kind of wish it was like you know we could be comfortable. Like I wish everybody was like that. Like if you if she's telling me, oh that girl or whatever and everything, and she's like we could be comfortable. And the same way I'm telling you, oh look at that guy, like he's wearing a nice outfit, he's dressed nicely. Or he looks handsome, whatever, you know, like, so I think I, I agree with you in that, like, if your eyes are going to wander, your eyes are going to wander, but, like, as long as you're not, like, having any malicious, you know, yeah, no bad feelings, intent. No bad yeah, intent, bad intent on like, anything, just, like, you're just looking, you know, the, you, the man, the male hormone cannot control it, you look at a girl and she got big tits, you're going to be like, damn, you can be like, damn, guys always make that face, like, like no, they wouldn't. Like, Come on, because let's be realistic. And girls, like, it's just like we don't have that hormone. We see attractive guys. Are we like getting all excited about it? We're just like no, like all right, whoa, good, good looking you... human being. Guys are just like. Uh, at the end of the day, I would tap. I would tap that ass honestly. <laughs> you see, this is the girl's problem, bro. This is the girl's problem. That's that, that's just. I mean, that's I don't. Sexist. I don't believe every man is like that because you know, there are men that are perverted like that, but. Um, but 
I'm gonna go back real quick. I do agree with you said with you, with what you said about like doing what makes her comfortable. Yes, like if you go through my stuff, I don't have anything like of girls and stuff unless it is my friends that are also her friends. Like it doesn't matter. Like I don't I don't like bikini pictures and stuff. Like if I see like one, like one of our friends like go out at night and there's lights in the back and all that stuff, I'm gonna like it because you know it's my friend too. So I'm gonna like it. But you know I don't I don't go out my way to like things that she would not like, you know, or that wouldn't make her feel comfortable because I understand how she feels. I'm not going to disrespect the way she feels. I, I know I feel a different way, but, you know, if she feels like I shouldn't do something, then I won't do it. You know, it's just cooperation in a relationship. Meet in the middle. Compromise, yeah. Opposites right here. Complete opposite. Complete opposite. I'm just like respectable. That's why they work together. <laughs> <laughs> She's like me. No. no. <laughs> Definitely not. But oh, I have a really possessive, um, protective mindset where I'm the queen and the only queen, other than his mom, of course. Um, but to each their own. Oh God, to each their own. <laughs> That's literally been the motto today. To each their own. <laughs>